The Russian military is pushing forward in the northern Kharkiv region, with the city of Volchansk becoming the focal point of intense combat. Today, May 21st, Anna News reported that the Ukrainian forces entrenched in the city are facing relentless artillery and airstrikes. A variety of munitions are being deployed to target these positions. Notably, for the first time in this conflict, a volume-detonating bomb, the ODAB-1500, was utilized. According to Anna News, this bomb struck a temporary deployment point of the Ukrainian military. The impact resulted in significant damage to the building and inflicted casualties on the personnel inside due to the intense blast wave. The exact losses are still being assessed. A video of the strike has been shared on the Telegram channel Severin Veter, North Wind. While the exact timing of the strike wasn't mentioned, it was confirmed that the Russian Air Force executed the attack. The ODAB-1500 aviation bombs have two fuses that automatically activate a set time after release. Upon reaching the target, the initial fuse detonates a dispersing charge. This breaks up the warhead and releases liquid fuel, creating a fuel air cloud. After a short interval, the second fuse sets off. At this point, the cloud detonates, generating a high-power shockwave that results in a powerful explosion. The pressure at the epicenter can skyrocket to between 90 to 120 atmospheres, which makes this weapon particularly destructive. The sudden spike in pressure can cause serious internal injuries to nearby enemy personnel. The Russian Aerospace Forces VKS, have conducted their second airstrike using the ODAB-1500 air bomb within just two weeks. On May 9, which coincides with Russia's Victory Day celebration, the VKS deployed this massive, one-and-a-half-ton volume detonating bomb against equipment warehouses and personnel at a refractory plant site in Chasov Yar. Footage of the explosion soon surfaced online. The detonation of such a large-caliber bomb was vividly captured in both optical and infrared spectrums. A towering mushroom cloud of fire and smoke ascended from the workshop where the bomb, featuring a guidance and planning module, hit its target. The scene bore a striking resemblance to the aftermath of a nuclear blast. The immense force of the ODAB-1500 explosion was likely compounded by the detonation of ammunition and fuel stored within the building, resulting in the dramatic visuals. Russia developed the ODAB-1500, a formidable thermobaric bomb designed to unleash a high-temperature blast followed by a powerful pressure wave. Often termed a fuel-air explosive, Phi. This weapon excels at targeting fortified positions, bunkers, and even exposed personnel. The ODAB-1500 measures around 4.5 meters, 14.8 feet, in length and approximately 0.58 meters, 1.9 feet, in diameter, weighing about 1,500 kilograms, 3,307 pounds. The fuel mixture, which creates its devastating thermobaric effect, constitutes a substantial portion of this weight. Aircraft like the Su-24 or Su-34 typically deploy the ODAB-1500, which reaches its target using a combination of inertial navigation and laser guidance systems. The military reserves this bomb for crucial strategic strikes where maximum destruction is the objective. The ODAB-500 is a type of fuel-air explosive bomb developed and used by Russia. 
These bombs are also known as thermobaric weapons and are designed to unleash a highly destructive blast. They work by dispersing a cloud of flammable aerosol, which is then ignited, producing a massive explosion. This explosion consumes all available oxygen in the vicinity, creating a vacuum that can cause a secondary, equally devastating implosion. The ODA B-500, with a weight of 500 kilograms, is intended to target fortified positions, tunnels, trenches, and groups of buildings or vehicles, combining the blast effects of conventional explosives with the prolonged pressure effect of thermobaric weapons. These weapons are particularly noted for their ability to inflict catastrophic damage over a wide area, not just through the blast and heat but also by consuming the oxygen in the area, which can result in asphyxiation for those caught within the blast radius but outside the immediate area of fire and pressure effects. The ODA B-500 is designed to be delivered by aircraft, making it a strategic asset for targeting dense, fortified, or underground facilities that are difficult to destroy with conventional explosives. The ODA B-500 boasts a destructive range of 25 to 30 meters. Beyond its effectiveness against personnel or fortified positions, it is also capable of swiftly neutralizing anti-tank minefields. The ODA B-500 bomb has a diameter of 500 mm and a length of 2,380 mm. It weighs a total of 525 kilograms, with the explosive filler accounting for 193 kilograms of that weight. When deployed from an aircraft, it can be released at altitudes ranging from 200 to 12,000 meters and at speeds up to 1,500 kilometers per hour. If launched from a helicopter, the operational release altitudes range from 220 to 5,000 meters, with speeds between 50 and 400 kilometers per hour. The ODA B-500's warhead consists of 190 to 193 kilograms of a highly volatile, high-energy fuel air explosive, the precise composition of which remains undisclosed. This weapon's distinctive feature lies in its use of a liquid slurry, setting it apart from the majority of conventional explosives that are typically formulated from a blend of fuel and oxidizer, such as gunpowder, which maintains a 25% fuel to 75% oxidizer ratio.